Good morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on a magnificent Monday. It is raining. Can you believe that? It is so nice to hear and to see. Uh, man, I'm telling you what, it was dry. But I'm so thankful for the blessings that God showers upon us so many times when we least expect it, because i got to tell you, this morning I was not expecting a rainstorm. What a great weekend we had, and I hope that you will join us this week for all of the great activities going on. But right now, look with me at 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And uh, Paul is in this uh, spot where he is trying to get a message across to these Corinthian Christians because they have a pride problem. They have a, a, a division problem. They have all this stuff going on. And he's trying to help them to understand, listen, it, this really isn't about you. It's about God. It's about following him. And uh, they think they've got it all figured out. And Paul's been saying, look, uh, you know, we apostles, you know, we, uh, we were, uh, look at verse 9. Let's just read this. He says, I think that God has displayed us, the apostles, last as men condemned to death. For we have been made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are distinguished, but we are dishonored. He, he really is trying a little sarcasm here to get his point across because they think that they are exactly what they need to be, where they need to be. And Paul says, you know, it's, it's great to know that, that you guys have got it all together. You got it all figured out. You know, here are us poor apostles. We're condemned to death. We're weak. We're foolish. We're dishonored. And then he goes on. Look at verse 11. To the present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. And we labor, working with our own hands. Being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we endure. Being defamed, we entreat. We have been made as the filth of the world, the offscouring of all things until now. Here's the thing. And this is relevant in, in our culture today because we are, we are being uh, told by these prosperity gospel preachers that, listen, God wants you to be successful. God wants you to be wealthy. God wants you to be, be perfectly happy all the time. Can I tell you that if we look at the historical record, if we look at what the apostles went through, what Jesus went through, what uh, the Christians all around the world today are going through, what we see is that suffering is the norm for Christians. Persecution is the norm for Christians. We are very blessed in the United States of America that we don't go through these things, that we are so very enriched uh, in, in uh, terms of the world. Even the poorest of the poor here in this country are far wealthier than the majority of the world uh, around us. And we need to, to grasp that. But as Christians, we need to understand God did not promise that he would make us rich, famous, successful, and happy all the time. He promised that he would help us to understand contentment, that he would help us to have all the things that we need. And listen, we think we need cars. We think we need houses. We think we need uh, all this food that we have. Truth is, we could make it on far less. And that's what God has promised us, to give us what we need not what we want, not all the, the extravagances. And, and I really believe that, that one day soon that we're going to be put in a position where we will need to, to recognize that. And a lot of people are going to turn their back on God. They're going to get mad at God because all of these riches that we have are going to disappear. When what he's promised is, I will take care of you through the lean times, through the hard times. Because sometimes we have to be taken to the hard times to understand how good we really have it. The fact that God is, is all we need, that he is the one who is sufficient. Paul says, here, here we are, the apostles, the ones called of God to uh, be the missionaries to the world. And he said, you guys have it all. You, you guys are happy and you got money and you got clothes and you got houses, you got food. He said, but we're hungry and we don't, we, we're poorly clothed, we're beaten, we're homeless. He says, we labor working with our own hands struggling, try, just trying to survive. But he says, listen, when people revile us for who we are as, as Christians, we bless. When we are persecuted, we don't try to get out from under it. We endure. When people make fun of us, when they defame us, we entreat God for them. We have been made as the filth of the world, the offscouring of all things until now, the lowest of the low, the dregs, you name it. That's what he's talking about here. Listen, 
Have you ever come to that point in your life where you recognize that God truly is all that you need? Think about that today. Pray about that today. Help God or ask God to help you to understand what that really means. Be blessed. I'll see you back here tomorrow.